Oh, okay, so if you're roaming YouTube wondering how to remove the valve springs off a small engine, well, it looks like it came to the right place. Um, I happen to have an old cylinder head of a generator engine just sitting here, so I'll teach you guys how to do it. Okay, it's actually really simple. Um, there is a groove at the end of the valve, and the retainer slides into the groove and it holds the valve spring in place. Now to get it out, you just simply push down and over. Kind of like that, and there it is. Here, your spring is off, and then you just simply push the valve out, and there you go. There's the intake valve it's pulled out. And I'll remove the exhaust side for you guys. It's the same as removing the intake side. You just push down. This one is stiff, but push down. Oh, I get it. Down and over. And then it pops out like that. Sorry about that. I just had to use two hands. That one. this one's really stiff. It's really hard to compress. Um, and there your valve just slides out like that. And there's your exhaust side too. Simple, easy way to do it. Really, you don't need all these specific tools to do all that. You can just use your fingers. Save yourself time and money. And there you have it. No, it got really bad outside for some reason, so I have to use a spotlight to light up the working area for now. So, um, now to install these are just as simple as taking them off, really. You do the same steps, but you reverse them. Take one of the valves. And the intake valve goes on the intake port, which is bigger and cleaner. That's how you can tell sometimes. The cleaner it is, usually means that it's the intake side. And you take the right valve spring that came with the intake valve, and you do the same thing. You press it down, and then you slide it over. And there it is. Same thing with your in, uh, your exhaust side. This is dirtier, and it goes in the smaller port. That's how you tell it's the exhaust. Take the the right valve spring, compress it. This one I had difficulty with earlier. Press it down and move it over, and that one's in too. And there you have it. You, the valve springs were removed and installed for you guys. I hope you take my advice and you learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Peace.